We are back today for another episode of Pack Attack, day four of Pack Attack week. We're already like past the halfway point technically, I guess. Wow, I didn't even realize that <laughs> right as I started talking, but it is crunch time. First of all, I want to start how I normally do by talking about the likes because guys, you guys have been awesome. 15 likes on the last episode not only have the likes not tapered off with less time in between videos but 15 is like the most we've gotten in a while so that is automatically adding 3,000 stubs to the end of the episode today that is three packs for free just because you guys hit the like button so make sure to keep it going guys hit that like button early on this one for me to add 200 stubs for each like towards next episode we've got a wheel to spin today though we have a program wheel ready to go after selling everything from last episode it added an extra 12,238 stubs to the bank bringing our bank all the way up to 40,644 so we're gonna spend 30,000 thousand of that on a program wheel spin but honestly our team right now is at the point where there's not a whole lot left to upgrade i mean you could make the argument that the three worst players recently are julio jose and vlad but you could also make the argument that on paper they should be our three best players and ramirez finally hit a home run in the last game so he might be turning it around julio had a good game he had a perfect swing and a base hit so maybe he's turning it around he's also finally under half of his at bats ending in strikeouts and then vlad we just haven't had for as long but he did pick up his first hit in the last game and i think he's gonna keep it going so offensively i mean the only spot would really be buxton but he's been decent so far a homer and a double and he's played really good defense so i'm not really looking to replace him our starting pitching is good the really the only thing is our bullpen we really need a good bullpen program wheel spin and specifically the lefties because our only two lefties are 90 brad hand who cost us our last loss by giving up four runs without getting an out and then we have 88 lefty growth the only problem is is that as far as who we can actually get to add to the team who we can pull from a pack it would take quite a bit of luck to actually land on one so of these high diamonds we can get first of all you know there's not many high diamond lefties to begin with we could get billy wagner he's in one of the boss packs but that's like a one in 46 chance brad hand is in one of the finest classic packs and pomeranz is in one of the other finest classic packs but then that means we're passing up on somebody else who'd be good and then obviously gregory soto and mantiply are both in all-star game packs and then Britain, he's in a boss pack. And that's it in terms of what can upgrade our lefties. So that's what, like a, a six out of 43 chance to land on a pack that is gonna upgrade our weakest spot on the team. Those aren't the best odds, but maybe if we all collectively cross our fingers, we can land on one. And if we get really lucky, we can land on whatever the boss pack is that had Billy Wagner. I forget which one that was. So let's do it, man. 30,000 stubs spent again from our stub bank let's get it spinning what do we got it's gonna be oh that's not gonna do it and that's this pack right here and since we can't sell anything from the program wheel i don't really know if anything's an upgrade just kind of scanning through the only one i can really see would be i mean we can only pick one of the two but it'd be from the central it'd be either jose abreu or mitch garver to be a bench bat versus lefties because i think we kind of need that well, i guess you could throw bagwell in that conversation too he's really Real good against lefties all right well let's get this open i guess this first round doesn't really matter pick whichever one this one i think i'm gonna go garver over abreu it's hard to pass up on 125 power even though the contact might be nice i think the 125 power off the bench would be nicer so let's go garver and then i guess bagwell but I'm only going to pick one of the two to actually add to the bench. I think I'm going to add Garver. We're going to add him over Alec Thomas. Alec Thomas was really only in to be a speed and fielding guy, but at this point, we're probably not going to need any defensive replacements in our outfield so then ellie de la cruz can just be our speed guy and i kind of trust him at the plate a little bit more than alec thomas and then also with garver at least then if we need to take varsho out 
for some reason. We have a backup catcher. I don't know. That's not that great of an upgrade. That's not that big. So on that note, let's hop into a game. We are up at a 649 record and this game is probably just as much of a must win as last game was. So guys, once again, don't forget to hit that like button to add 200 stubs towards the next episode. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. We are so close to a thousand. We have Grinky on the mound today, which might be a good thing because both of his starts so far have been real quick. He's got perfect game Randy out there, but I really have no reason to be scared of that card anymore. I've hit that parallel five version of that card like twice. 98 and 80 is his record. He's got a cool logo too. So first things first at this point when it's not certain we gotta check it's on all-star again okay been able to avoid playing on hall of fame but honestly i'm getting to the point where i want to play on hall of fame because that means we're actually progressing let's see he waited back on the slider can you wait back all the way for this yes he can but Carew's there. i don't like that if this guy's timing is gonna be here this is gonna make it tough on the mound Okay, no, maybe his timing's only there for the, the slow stuff. Can we just go up and in and sit him down? No, we can't. He adjusted. Okay. Well, at least that's good to know early and on just a base hit and not a no-doubter. All right. Slide step sinker low. Got the pop-up. It's going to keep him at first. One more out. And there we go. Another pop-up. Carew is there. Nice inning. Let's go hit. Oh, I was ready, dude. I turned on that 102 inside. Just got to do better with the PCI. I guess I was late side of good, too, but whatever. Oh, man. I'm turning on it. The heat, it's not going to work. I told you the... No, that's not tailing foul. Oh, no. That's where my deep right field wall hurts. If that was more shallow. If that was 330 instead of 360, it wouldn't have had enough time to tail foul. Dude, he keeps wanting to throw that heat, and I keep timing it up. That's just an unfortunate PCI. I don't know what the left thumb was doing. Keep throwing that, dude. Keep thinking it's going to work. If you're going to rely on 102 but leave it right down the middle, I'm going to hit today. Look at him. That's all he's throwing. Oh my god. That's gonna get down. There we go. Oh wait, that's leaving. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. Vlad has some power, doesn't he? Alright, there we go. First inning run. Oh, and then he finally throws a slider and it gets me. Okay, though, we took the lead. Early lead, 1-0. I like it. Gets us in a good spot. Maybe if we can keep it going, score another couple runs. Maybe then we could get that early quit. There we go. I like the pop-ups. I don't like this pitch. I don't like it, actually. Okay. I was right to not like it, but he kept it low enough for Honus to get there. Oh, that's that's not a good one. That's not fun. That's up at the letters. You don't hit that. Man, he just refuses to not time up a swing. He'll chase, but he'll still make contact because the timing will be there. Dude, how am I? Like, that is the pitch. I made a good swing. I'm just a little bit on top of it, so that it's a chopper. Minor adjustment to the PCI, and this is a 2-0 game pretty easily. Again! I mean, th that's... <laughs> That's a swing that sometimes you want the game to help you out on. Everything's there, but the PCI is slightly too low. 120 power, you can't just, can't just give me a little bit. Well, that's the first one I straight up missed. I don't know, why did I go so far down with that? I, I really do not understand his thought process. I know I missed that last one, but how do you just keep throwing that fastball? I guess to set up that, which works when he throws it every once in a while, but in the meantime, I would like to hit those fastballs down the middle. Uh, and that one's getting up the middle for him. That wasn't a very smart pitch, knowing how he's hitting. He missed the bunt. Can we throw him out? No, because even though I got a perfect throw, it wasn't a perfect throw. Yeah, that was... Wait, we could get him at third here. Nice, okay. 
Man, his timing is unreal. He just adjusts every pitch. That's so far below the zone. That needs to not be hit anyway. Oh, and that actually... That can't... <laughs> Can't be doing that, man. That is two pitches in a row that should not be in a hittable spot. This won't be two. I don't even know why I went to throw it to second. I, uh, honestly, I don't know if we get him at first either with that speed. Did we get transported back to like episode three where we're just getting singled to death? That's gotta be two. I feel like it won't be. No, it is. Okay, that was big. Keep it tied. That was a frustrating inning. I would much rather just give up one solo shot and that be the run than give up four singles. Okay, I'm getting tired of this too, being close, but not close enough for it to actually do something. I mean, seriously, such minor adjustments to the PCI and I would have so many more runs already. Grinky again. I mean, he's got enough hitting that a good swing can do something, but the PCI is just off. Oh, I finally got something else. And that's not getting through. Where's my swing at a pitch below the zone that ends up going to the perfect spot where nobody is? And the timing was there. Well, I guess there goes our uh, our hopes of getting an early quit and playing multiple games. I just, I, I really feel like with the way he's pitching, there's no way that he should only have one run allowed so far. This play's gotta be made. It's kinda tough with his speed. Okay. Uh, of course. Trying to go for a three-pitch inning on three straight sliders, but guess I didn't get that one far enough outside. Oh, and he couldn't hold up on the heat oh, up. Okay, we're good. Double doesn't really matter. It's just an extra hit allowed. See, he's starting to mix in a few more sliders now that are getting me. Oh, no. He threw the same pitch twice. I let it go the first time. What was different about that one? All right, Vlad, are we just relying on you today? No, why, what's going on all of a sudden? Why am I swinging at that? Vlad? To that shorter part? Oh, it's off the wall, and we're going to have to stay at first. Okay, I mean, Vlad is Vlad's going off. He's the only one. I got to hit that. What is that? Oh my god, what am I doing? St huh. <sighs> okay, thanks game. Thanks for that call. No way, dude! I know that's technically a strike, but this game calls that a ball often enough that he doesn't need two of those calls for strike three in the same inning. Oh, and he's taking out Randy after that. Okay. Maybe that's a good thing, because even though for the most part I was timing him up and making good swings, maybe we just need to see someone else. Maybe Randy's ratings are just too good for the swings I was making. Wow. I was not expecting a swing on that pitch. I missed it. Did I get him very early? Look at that. And then too late? Is his timing finally failing him? We got him. I think he was early on that. And another one to Schwarber. Okay, another good inning, another quick inning. We got a score off of whoever knew he's bringing in. Who do we got? Jorge Lopez? We can score off of him. We have scored off of him. Oh, is that gone? The short porch and left helps me out. You knew exactly what he was going to go to. That's huge from Julio. Oh, in Varsho. Okay, all we needed was a new pitcher, I guess. Now these borderline swings are enough to actually get us hits. Yeah, throw that again after I... Okay, well, okay. You know that's what I'm looking for. He threw it again. I make just about the best swing you can. And then Grinky's popping it up. Man, dude, that Buxton swing. I didn't get mad enough about that. That needed to get us something. That gets over his head. That could be another run. But at the least, it would have been second and third with nobody out. And he throws the sinker again. I make another good swing. Okay, thank you for beating that out. Because that probably should have been a hit anyway. Karu, stay fair. Thank you, game. Thank you. Finally. You give me the call. 
And then I repay you by swinging at that. At least we got one, but dude. Grinky's just gotta keep shutting him down. We can't let this single bug bite us again. No more base hits up the middle. Honestly, maybe I should like turn on the, the auto shift for this game. Just because his timing is so good and he's gone up the middle so much, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'd be a good thing. Well, I don't know. We've been doing pretty good lately, so maybe we'll stick with it. Grinky with another strikeout. Buxton might have the speed to get there. Oh, he's going to get there easily. He could have ran another 50 yards. There we go. Got him rolling over. Perfect sinker. Another good inning. Two-thirds of the way through this game. Couple more insurance runs would be nice. Maybe Vlad can keep his good day going here. Yeah, I figured we'd end up seeing a new pitcher. He's going to Rivera. That could be tough. Did I get another one with Vlad? That felt good. He's not going for it. I think Vlad got him again. This is the game that we've been waiting for from Vlad. And that home run's not going to count because he dashboarded, of course. Well, it's going to count for our stubs, but it's just, it's not going to show up on his card, which always frustrates me. I just, I still, I don't get it with some people, man. That's only a two run lead with three whole innings to go. Like that, that could still be a game. And it's also frustrating because, you know, I still had a chance to score or more hang on that run actually showed up on the uh on the final score there so i don't know maybe it did count for some reason up to 677 so we're just right back to where we started when pack attack week started i think we started at 679 lost the first two games but now we've won the next two rod carew gets up to a parallel three that's gonna be real good for the multiplier all right it's kind of confusing because the third run showed up on the box score but the fact that it was a home run run didn't show up so it doesn't show up as a homer or a hit for vlad it just counted the run for some reason so we gotta take into account the fact that vlad hit that second home run so we will be adding that to our stubs so with that in mind here's what we got the three runs scored gives us 1500 stubs we had 15 total bases in that one to give us 3000 we had three home runs so that tax on an extra 600 we got our every five hit bonus once for another 500 and then vlad with a multi home run game adds an extra 2000 stubs for that and then the five times that i struck out is going to take away 500 over to the mound grinky pitched six innings so that gives us 3600 stubs the six hits he allowed takes away 1200 and then the one run allowed takes away another 500 i struck him out three times though so that's going to add back another 600 and then it was a complete game for Grinky. So that's going to add another 1,500. And then we got the 1,500 for the win, 1,500 for the quit, and another 1,500 because that was our 35th win. So that triggers our every five win bonus. And then we're left with the 15 likes that you guys left on last episode, giving us that 3,000 extra stubs. And that's going to bring our total up to 18,600. But we still have the multiplier, which for today's game, is up to times 1.17 so an extra 17 percent we're getting to our stub count and that multiplier comes from now a two game winning streak five parallel ones three parallel twos and three parallel threes so multiplying that to our 18,600 adds on an extra 3,162 stubs bringing our final stub count for our game today to 21,762 and that is just a perfectly nice nice amount of stubs to get it still allows us to spin the pack wheel but we also get a decent amount of packs on top of it so the pack wheel plus the seven show packs that's going to cost 22,000 stubs. So we got to take 238 out of the stub bank to cover the rounding. But here we go. Let's get some nice pulls today, man. I don't know. That opening animation was pretty slow. I thought maybe that meant we got something. But no, that's not the best pack. Three free agents is not what you want, especially common free agents. There's another three. Oh my god, it's the same thing. The same pack. Back to back, basically. Third one, is it going to be any better? A gold 
So I guess slightly better. And a, a bronze. That's not a free agent. That's always good too. Fourth pack is gonna be another silver. Wow, dude. That's another silver with then three free agent comments. That is crazy. I'd rather, I'd much rather have like two bronzes. There's one for this pack. There's three bronzes, but only one of them's on a team. So that's the only one that matters. I don't know, man. Unless a couple of those silvers go for a decent amount. Well, this was a decent pack, actually. All but the one common free agent. Those are going to go for a decent amount. So maybe we'll add a decent amount of stubs. I've said decent amount way too much. It's another all right pack. Actually, I don't know if it is because I think this is one of those guys that doesn't go for more than the quick sell value. So I don't know. Maybe we break even, which at this point is kind of just like the norm. But now let's get this pack wheel back up here. I want to land on something I haven't landed on before, like a headliner choice pack or a juicy pack or give me the jazz chisholm that's on there come on what do we got always intense set too well i guess that is something i haven't landed on yet so fair enough i forget who's in this one i forget who's in set two i wonder if it'll be anybody that's actually an upgrade the big round is brian wilson castellano oh we had never mind i guess i have opened this one up before because we obviously have had jorge polanco castellanos would be good for the big round get that double 125 on the bench and they don't go for that much the big round well i guess i guess everybody but castellanos does so i don't know i guess i guess it's either do i want the stubs or do i want a bench bat let's open it up though let's see what we get low round is just gonna be selling whoever it is and i'm thinking the big round i'll still take castellanos so what do we got the low round these guys go for a decent amount though so actually that could put us right in range to be able to spin the program wheel again because yeah it's gonna be about fourteen thousand. I think it was Holt that was going for the most, right? That'll get us about 14,000. If we add another six to 7,000 on from the seven show packs, that'll get us about 20,000 from the episode. And we were left with about 10,000. So yeah, we might be just about enough to get another program wheel. But all right, guys, that was another solid episode. We needed that win and we need to keep winning. It's honestly, I don't know. I don't know how it looks. The outlook doesn't seem that great to actually make it to World Series, but who knows? Maybe I don't lose from here on out, and maybe we get there. But guys, that does it today. Once again, make sure you hit that like button to add 200 stubs towards the next one. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you do that for me. We are getting so close to a thousand, man. Just last episode, I said we were 33 away. Now we're 28 away. We can get this before 23 comes out, man. But thanks for watching today, guys. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time.